see I have my Dead Pit shirt on, deadpit.com, best in horror talk radio. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pimp for those guys too. I've been thinking about doing an actual uh, video um, just discussing podcasts in general. So, very quickly, I want to run out for you names of a couple others. So after the Dead Pit guys, they're doing a decade in review of the past decade. They just posted part three, which covers 2006 and 2008 this past year, though they did bash some of my favorites, which were Rob Zombie's Halloween and Diary of the Dead, but, you know, it's okay. We all have uh, differing opinions. Um, definitely check out their two-part interview with Jim Van Bever, um, indie director that did uh, The Manson Family, Deadbeat at Dawn. He's working on some other things. Good, good stuff there. Also, the guys over at GutMunchers.com just put up an interview with Adrian King from Friday the 13th. Um, J Dog and the Changeling at Canadian Ferox are doing did an episode on music in horror movies this week. Definitely check that out. And over at Horror Etc., another couple uh, guy, the Canadian guys, they are discussing Quentin Tarantino. So that's cool. Not necessarily horror specific, but that's why their show is called Horror Etc. And because this is YouTube, and you know I do watch um, YouTube videos whenever I get the chance, I do want to recommend a specific YouTube user, and that is Rambo Raff because he. His content is insane. He adds videos every single day. I don't know how he finds time to do this. So you can find him at youtube.com slash user slash Rambo Raff. That's, you know, Rambo as in John Rambo and Raff as in Raphael, you know, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because his quote is, if Rambo, um, you know, is, is if Raphael was a human, he would be Rambo. Or if Rambo was a turtle, he'd be Raphael. So Rambo Raff. Definitely check that out. He's doing an insanely long history of slasher films where he and Afree are talking about slasher films as some of their favorites, some of their least favorites, and then going over history through the years. I think they're up to part 60 or so right now. I mean, it's an insane number of videos. There's, I haven't even been able to watch but a few of them, but it's something I like to dip back into whenever I get a chance.